Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me Liz. Today we have a what I eat to maintain my body and my healthy lifestyle. I have some yummy and realistic meals to share with you guys, so let's get right into it. For our first dish, we have the one and only oatmeal. Now, if you follow me on Instagram at elizvichu, you know I eat oatmeal very frequently. Not only is it good for you and keeps you full and happy, but it is also very easy to make. I am pouring one third cup of oats into a bowl, then two third cup of water. You can also use milk, so whatever you prefer. Then I am placing it in the microwave for one minute. While it is cooking, I am washing and chopping up some fresh fruits to use as toppings. This is why I like oatmeal. You can choose whatever toppings you like to use, so get creative. After the oats are done, start adding the toppings. I'm using blueberries, strawberries, bananas, and some homemade granola, which you can find the recipe on my Instagram. I'm also sprinkling some cacao nibs and chia seeds. Adding toppings is the best way to sneak in some extra healthy goodies into your meal. Then to top it all off, I am drizzling some almond butter to pull the dish together. And there you have it! A delicious bowl of divineness, as I like to call it. I love eating this after my workout as my breakfast and it keeps me satiated until my next meal. You have to try it out. I also like to have a yogurt bowl in the morning or as a snack. I'm adding 2-3 spoons of plant yogurt. I'm using coconut milk yogurt here, but you can use whatever you want. Then I cut up some fruits. That day I was feeling nectarines and wild blueberries. I'm also adding hemp seed, my homemade granola, and cacao nibs. And voila, all done. Just like oatmeal, you can get creatively fun with the toppings and it is so easy and quick to make. Alrighty, we have rice crackers. I am using gluten-free rice cracker here. First things first, I'm spreading a nice layer of almond butter onto the cracker. Look at that, what a beauty. I love adding bananas, so five to six slices will do. Then I'm sprinkling on some coconut shreds, homemade granola, blueberries, and there we have it. I also like to add chia seeds and cinnamon on top. Again, you can get so creative with rice cracker snacks. Rice crackers are such a yummy snack staple on my diet. They are so easy to make and so delicious. Next up, we have a salmon avocado toast. I know, I know, it's such a basic meal, but who doesn't love it? I am toasting one slice of bread. I usually use this one or the Dave's Killer Bread. While it is toasting up in the toaster, I'm slicing half of an avocado. Then just mash the avocado onto the bread, sprinkle some seasoning, and you can stop there, but I like to top it all off with some smoked salmon. I also like having an egg with this meal to add in some extra healthy protein. There we have it, the most basic meal of the century, but one of the yummiest macro nutritiously filled meals. Now it's time for dessert. I've been making this with my sister ever since I could remember. It is one of our favorite childhood snacks. I am slicing up some bananas and wrapping a plate with saran wrap to keep the bananas from sticking to it. Place the slices of bananas onto the plate and add the toppings. I'm drizzling some honey onto one side along with some cacao nibs. Then cover it all up with more saran wrap and place it into the freezer. After 5 hours, the bananas should be frozen solid and ready to eat. This treat tastes the best when it is frozen, so enjoy it right away when you take it out of the freezer. I absolutely love this snack. It brings back lots of good old childhood memories with my sister. Okay, now I want to share my go-to snack, popcorn. Popcorn is super low in calories and very light, so I pop them into the microwave for two minutes, and of course, the only time I can't open the bag is when I'm filming. And look, I spilled everywhere. I usually have a cup or so of popcorn, which is only 35 calories. Then I'm adding some of my favorite seasoning, garlic powder, elote seasoning, and a dash of garlic salt. Shake it up, and there we have it. It only took three minutes and is perfect when you are feeling snacky and just want something light to eat. I love enjoying it as a snack while I'm working or of course, during movie nights. Oh. 
All right, next up we have a baby Buddha bowl. I say baby because to be quite honest, I don't have all the patience to make a beautiful Buddha bowl every time and since I don't meal prep, spending 40 minutes preparing a meal is not ideal for me. So I created the baby version of it. I start off by adding in some carbs, in most cases a spoon or two of white rice or purple rice. Then I cook up some eggs, sometimes I add in some chicken or fish for some extra protein. While the egg is cooking, I add in a handful of spinach into my bowl, then place the egg on top after it is done cooking. Then to garnish, I add in some cucumbers and bell pepper. Shredded carrots taste great with this meal as well. Feel free to add in more toppings. This is just a foundation of the bowl. To finish it all off, add in the magic sauce, Ponzu. It brings a light tanginess to the dish and it goes so well with this meal. There we have it, a baby Buddha bowl that took no more than 10 minutes to make. It is a perfect healthy meal for a person on the go like me or a student who is busy studying all day. Enjoy! For the final dish, we have a tomato noodle soup, one of my all-time favorite meals. First, start off by chopping up some tomatoes into small pieces. Use one tomato for one serving, and since we are making two servings here, we are using two tomatoes. Next, cut some green onions into small pieces, chop up some fish tofu or any tofu of your choice, and put those to the side. We also use two eggs or one egg per serving and dried seaweed. You don't want to skip out on the dry seaweed because it adds a unique source of vitamins and minerals. After the oil is heated, add in the green onions for a nice aroma that will add a rich taste to the dish. Now add in your diced tomatoes and we are going to let this simmer for 5 minutes. We are essentially making a soupy tomato paste here. Now I'm also adding some beef seasoning, mushroom seasoning, and a drizzle of sodium reduced soy sauce. After the 5 minutes is up or whenever your tomatoes look like this, add in water to create a soup. You can add in more depending on how soupy you like your noodles. Let it simmer on low medium heat for 5 more minutes. Now add in your preferred noodles and it is important to add the noodles first so it has time to cook. Crack in your eggs and just let it poach. Do not stir it around. Then add in the rest of your toppings. We also added in some pieces of shrimp for some extra protein. After everything is almost cooked through, now add in your seaweed. Let the soup simmer for two to three more minutes and the noodles are ready to be served. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got a glimpse of what I eat to maintain my body and healthy lifestyle. And I hope it also showed you that you can eat plenty and happily without restricting. It's all about finding balance. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye!